everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is a super, super exciting day. I have been waiting to talk about this for a minute now. I've had it and I've been playing with it and I am so excited. As you know, the beautiful and talented Mel Thompson recently collaborated with Sydney Grace to create her own palette. You guys, we finally have a palette inspired and created by Mel Thompson. I'm letting that sink in. It's incredible. This is the Tiny Marvels palette and I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I have to tell you, I've always really, really enjoyed Sydney Grace's formula and their shimmers and their mattes just blend so well. But you guys, they have some of the best pigment. When I heard that she was collaborating with them, I just knew it was a match made in heaven because you're taking the quality from Sydney Grace and you're taking the beautiful talent that Mel Thompson has and combining them into one. She is one of my dearest friends here on the YouTube platform and I can truly tell you that she is a true friend. She is what you guys see on camera is just a tenth of who she is. She's just an amazing woman. She really is. And I am so incredibly proud of her that um, I don't want to get emotional, but I just have to tell you that this has brought me so much joy. Uh, she is the most hardworking, genuine human being. I admire and look up to her in so many ways. She's incredibly strong and she's been through so much and because of that, it's just created this beautiful, beautiful soul that I am fortunate enough to know and love. And I am so excited for her. And this is just amazing. It's just simply amazing. Now that I got through the gushing part, I'm gonna stop talking about it before I get too emotional. This is something I do not have in my collection. I don't have anything like it in my collection. I have been recently playing with some of the palettes that Sydney Grace launched for Christmas in July, and they sent them to me in PR, and I'm loving them, loving them, and I just haven't had a chance to create a video using those palettes. Every time I dip into a Sydney Grace palette, I just, I know that I'm gonna get great pigment, and I know that I'm not gonna have to fuss too much with the blendability, and it's just an incredible quality. The thing that I will say is the outside packaging is Mel. This is who Mel is. Uh, she's incredibly artistic in the way that she expresses herself. And you know, she's got such beautiful tattoo artwork on her body and it just did not surprise me that she created the outside the way that she did. And the box is exactly the same way. The box actually matches the palette front and back. You have a full list of everything that is inside the actual shadows. So in this palette, you get 15 shadows total. There are six shimmers and nine mattes in this palette. And let me say this, wait till I get to the swatches. You guys will die. I've decided to do a live swatch session with this palette so you can actually see how they swatch on the arm without just, just taking an image. These swatch beautifully and they apply even better. So I will be doing some live swatches later on in the video, but such a beautiful palette. I am just incredibly proud of you, Mel. I am so, so, oh, I gotta stop talking about it. Okay, whoo, hold on, hold on, hold on. I wanna read what the card says, okay? It's it's just absolutely beautiful. I just spent all that time on my eye makeup and dadgum it, it I'm not gonna ruin it. It says, hey beauties, I'm so excited to announce my very first eyeshadow palette collaboration with Sydney Grace. I present to you Tiny Marvels. I am a longtime lover of tiny creatures, tattoos, colorful creations, and of course, makeup. I wanted to be able to bring all of these worlds together to curate the most marvelous palette. The shades in my palette are based on the colors and tiny critters that I have tattooed on my body. I selected an array of neutral nudes, pops of pastel, and vivid splashes of color. I hope these tiny marvels bring you as much joy as they do me. This palette is my vision, now make it yours. Okay, I got through that. Let's go ahead and jump into the three eyeshadow looks that I create with this beautiful palette. Then we will get into the live swatches and then I will give you guys my full final thoughts at the end. So without further ado, let's jump right into the tutorials. Okay, 
so I'm gonna first start with this shade right here, which is called Tree Hopper. I do want to mention, if you have not used a Sydney Grace palette before, you do get a lot of kick up in the pan, but the pigmentation is bomb.com. I just kick off the extra in the brush. easy wash of color and it's very buildable you know I'm a medium with like a golden undertone and this shade is nice and buildable but look how good it blends so next up I am going to grab this beautiful shade right here and knowing Sydney Grace like I do you're gonna want to tap off because it'll be very pigmented so we're gonna put start this right here on the base of the crease oh damn that shades pretty Okay, now I'm gonna go in with a clean brush and buff out those edges. Now I'm gonna go into this shade right here, which is called Death Moth. Place this right there in the crease, right where I placed that maroon shade. Mm -mm -mm. That just gave it such a depth. Now I want you guys to also notice that I'm not getting any fallout. So the shadows are not falling out at all. I'm gonna take this brush. This is a brush that you get in the Dose of Colors palettes, the little like five pen palettes. I'm gonna grab this dark shade right here, which is called Spider. So I wanna concentrate this right here on this outer corner like this. That shade is so pigmented. So what I've done is I've used this brush to lay it down where I want it. I'm gonna go back into the shade Tree Hopper, which is that light shade, and I'm gonna use Tree Hopper to blend it out and get rid of any harsh lines. Oh, you guys, this shadow is amazing. Like this dark color, so good. Like I said, Sydney Grace, man, they just have amazing shadows. Now I wanna go into Love Bug. I actually wanna use Love Bug to really blend that color. I'm just playing with all colors, you guys. I just, I wanna play with all the colors. Oh, damn, that shade's perfect. Okay, I'm gonna use a little bit of Love Bug and bring it right here. I love that Love Bug shade. Oh, so pretty. On this, uh, brush from the uh, Dose of Colors, and I'm going to place this right here on the inner corner. Okay, now I'm going to go into Peekaboo, and I'm going to put Peekaboo, like not all the way up into the inner corner. I'm putting it right kind of like, I'm not bringing it all the way in. I'm bringing it more towards the mobile lid. And then I'm gonna take a tiny, tiny bit of spider and I'm gonna place spider right over top of where I did that last shade. Now I'm gonna go directly into all of these gorgeous freaking shimmer shades, you guys. Holy shit skis. These shimmer shades are unbelievable. So this shade Scarab, this reminds me of a Pat McGrath shade. Look at this intensified look. Holy crapperoli, like really? In fact, that shade might go gore, okay. Wait a minute, we're gonna put that shade all over, oh shit. I'm gonna use my refer number two brush. And I'm gonna go into that shade and place it on the lid. I'm using the brush because I don't want it to be like, you know, cause this can get big time intensified. Like it just depends on how much intensity you want, but 
I want this as the base because I am going to go in with web and really brighten things up. Now I want to go into web and I want web to just really explode on my lid. I'm going to start right here. Oh my God. This is not wet. This is dry. This is being applied dry. And I'm going to first go into tree hopper and we're going to place that on the lower lash line. Although I don't know how much this is really going to show up, but first I'm going to go into love bug and I'm going to place love bug like right under the lower lash line and just kind of build that up right here. Then I'm going to take Bugaboo and place it here on the outer corner and the inner corner. I'm going to go into the shade Spider, tap off, and I'm going to slowly buff that into the outer corner and the inner corner. I'm going to put some uh, shimmer shadow on that lower lash line. Let's put this on the lower lash line, like right here. Now I'm going to go into the shade web. Okay. I'm going to focus that right here. So I'm going to go into web dry and I'm going to place this right boom. Okay. I'm going to put a little tiny bit of that web up on my brow bone just because Mel inspires me to do that all the time. Okay, so I went ahead and threw on a pair of lashes. I wanna let you guys know what lippy I'm wearing with this eyeshadow look. I'm wearing the lip liner from Charlotte Tilbury in the shade Pillow Talk. And I'm also wearing the Velvet Cream Liquid Lipstick from YSL. It's a little deluxe size sample that I got. I actually really like the shade. It's in the shade 216, and I thought it would kind of go with this really pretty eyeshadow look. That's it for look number one. Let's go ahead and jump straight into look number two. So here we are for look number two. Let's jump right into it. I'm gonna first go into Flutterby. I'm gonna start this right here in the crease and I'm gonna blend this up a little bit higher just so that this shade is really peeking out. I'm gonna start it in the crease but then I'm gonna start blending it and bringing it up. Oh, that shade. I am obsessed with that shade. Like that shade is like perfect just to throw in the crease. Bring it right here on the outer corner. And while I'm playing with that shade, I'm gonna bring it on the lower lash line right here. I'm gonna go into Death Moth first and I'm gonna start this right here on the outer corner just to kind of deepen things up and then I'm going to bring it on the on the lid as well. You have to be mindful of the fact that even though it doesn't look dark in the pan, it's got a lot of pigment and you don't want it to overtake what you're doing. Now I am going to take a smaller brush just so that I have a little bit more control. I'm actually gonna use the brush from the Dose of Colors uh, Five Pan Palettes. Great brush, by the way. And I'm gonna go into the shade Bugaboo, this one right here. I'm gonna start this like right here on the outer corner, kind of on an angle, and then kind of work my way up. So now I'm just taking the tip of the brush and kind of filling and shading in this outer corner crease, but with, um, but then I'll go in with a clean brush and blend it out. So I'm kind of placing the color where I want it. So I'm going to go into the flutter by, which is that salmon shade and use that shade to blend out that dark color and just make sure that all the gaps are kind of filled in and it has a nice, blend. Okay, now I'm going to take a brush like this. It's just like a flat edge brush. I am going to go into this shade right here and I'm going to softly smoke this into the lower lash line. But the reason why I chose this kind of a brush is because 
I can keep it tighter to the lash line and smoke it down. I gotta go into the shade. This one is Meadow Hawk. I mean, it is gorgeous. So I'm gonna take the uh, flat definer from Sonia G and I'm gonna slowly build this because I don't wanna go in with too much product because I don't want a lot of fallout. If you are doing this and you have not done your face makeup, you can just go in and just really go heavy. But I'm just taking like small little stippling motions and I'm slowly applying it, but day go. <laughs> It is seriously so beautiful. Like I can't, like I don't really have any words for this. It's so pretty. First of all, I got zero fallout. I didn't get any fallout from the mattes and I didn't get any fallout from the shimmers. It's spectacular that way. Okay, I'm gonna go in to the shade Web. I love this inner corner highlight. So I'm gonna place that right here and kind of bring it up into that shade just to really open up the inner corner okay so this is the final look and i just love the way this turned out i love it i put on a new pair of lashes i don't really like these lashes i think they're just a little bit too curled for my liking it's a new pair of lashes I got on sale at Sephora. These are from Anastasia. These are called Eleganza. As far as the lip goes, I'm wearing the Wayne Goss. This has been my favorite combo recently. This is the Wayne Goss Essential Lip Pencil in the shade Sepia. And the lipstick is also from Wayne Goss in the shade Camellia. That's it for look number two. Let's go ahead and jump into the third and final look and I will see you guys all in my final thoughts. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into look number three, which I'm super excited about because today I wanna jump into some of the pastel shades. I'm gonna go into Jewel B right here, which is that beautiful purple shade. I'm gonna do a nice light even layer of this on the lid. I'm gonna switch brushes and I'm gonna bring that shade into the crease. I'm gonna have to change my lip color because it's really not working with this purple but this purple is blending beautifully on the lid. It's just got such a nice pigment and you can kind of pack it on and really blend it out. Down. I'm gonna now go into Love Bug and I'm gonna use Love Bug to kind of give it a little bit depth. I'm gonna go in to Flutterby, this one right here. So I'm thinking about maybe going into this shade right here, which is called Fire Butts. I think I'm gonna add just a light layer of Fire Butts. Like I don't want it to be like super, super, super explosive. I'm just gonna like kind of do this with it and just like do this small stippling motion, but not pressing too hard. I'm just kind of lightly coating the lid. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Look how pretty that is. I'm gonna go into Web now and kind of do the exact same thing with Web. Just bringing Web right over. Oh my gosh, I seriously think Web is one of the prettiest inner corner highlights and that lighter, oh, it is gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna put it right on the tip of my brush. So I went into the palette and put it right on the tip. Now I'm gonna tip my head back and I'm gonna bring it right up in to the crease, but not pressing down to make it a full opaque 
shimmer. I want it to just be a light flush. When it comes to shimmer shadows, it's all about the pressure. Oh my gosh, I freaking love that. Uh, I'm gonna mix between Love Bug and Spider. Lightly start kind of building that right here on this outer corner. And then I might even mix into Bugaboo, which is that like maroon color. Just kind of get some of that depth. I am going to take the color Web and I'm gonna place it right here on the inner corner. I'm going to bring it right up here on the brow bone. Okay, so this is the final look and I love the way this eyeshadow look turned out. It's so summery and so purple but it's got just that nice hint of shimmer on the lid, which was really impressive with the formula because you could really add just a tiny, tiny bit without overwhelming it and making it really, really bold and really strong highlight. So I really appreciate that about the formula. As far as the eyelashes go, these are the House of Lashes Iconic Lights. And the lippy was a little bit harder for this look because I really don't have a lot of these like pastel purpley type of lipstick so i really struggled so i started with the gerard cosmetics this is the lip pencil in the shade ecstasy so i just kind of lined the lips a little bit with that then i brought out my uh lip crayon thing from elf this is actually in the shade t rose and it's kind of the perfect color for this eyeshadow. Like it really, really is. Then I reached for the Gloss Bomb from Fenty in the shade Confetti and just kind of popped it on the top for that beautiful gloss and that really pretty shine to the lip, especially in that white pearl. I thought it was really pretty. Okay, so that's it for look number three. Let's go ahead and jump into the live swatches that I took of this palette, and then we will get into my final thoughts. So I will see you guys then. So now that we've made it through the three tutorials, the live swatches, now I wanna get into my final thoughts on the palette. As you guys know, Mel is one of my really good friends here on the platform, and even if, I feel like if I stopped doing YouTube tomorrow, she and I would still remain friends. We have a real friendship. And with that said, I love this palette. When I first saw it, I was like, oh, how am I gonna create looks with this? Because there is a lot, she gave you a lot to work with, and it doesn't really have a story. It's just all these different kind of colors combined into one. So when I first looked at it, I was like, oh, I might struggle creating looks with it. But it's been the exact opposite experience as I thought. Pops of color, there's pops of pastels, there's some cool tone transition shades. 
what do I do with it? And how do I put it all together? But there's something about the shadows themselves and the way that the colors melt together and the way that you can put them together that just makes it so amazing. And it's like nothing I have in my collection, which let's be honest, it's that's very hard to do these days. It's very hard to create a palette of something that we don't have. So the fact that she brought all of these different colors together based on her artistry on her body is kind of incredible. It goes to show you the talent of the artistic abilities that Mel Thompson actually has. I mean, we already know Sydney Grace, the formula, it's like, it's like 10 out of a 10. So I'm not even going to even discuss the formula because the formula we already know is going to be great because it's great. I mean, it's great, 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 great. And these purples blended so easily. And purples, as we know, that's a harder shade and a harder color to really perfect. And they nailed it. I mean, nailed it, nailed it. I actually had so much fun putting the colors together and creating looks with it. It is amazing. I am telling you, this is a great palette. Looking at it, you don't realize how special it is until you actually start playing with it. And I really thoroughly enjoy this. The thing that I love the most about this palette is just the versatility. You can do so many different things with 15 shades in this palette. If you guys are interested in this palette, this palette will launch today at 9 a.m. PST. So definitely set your alarms. If you guys are watching this early, you will want to set your alarms. You will want to check out this palette. It is amazing. And congratulations, Mel, because you nailed it. I am so happy for you and you outdid yourself on this one. And I cannot wait to see what you have for us in the future because this was pretty, this was pretty special and spectacular. So definitely pick up your guys' palettes today. Again, I have a feeling they're gonna sell out within probably the first day, I would assume, because this is such an amazing palette and everybody loves mail. So I just can't imagine these staying in stock for very long. So keep that in mind, but they will be available at 9 a.m. PST. When this video goes up, you only have a few hours to get that alarm set. And the reason why I waited a day because I knew that so many people would be uploading their video the next day after she announced it because we've all been patiently waiting. I mean, we've had this for a minute and we've been waiting for it to like, for her to announce it, just patiently waiting. So I knew everybody was going to be uploading their videos today. So I figured I would let them, uh, you know, upload and, and I just figured I'd wait until the morning of the launch. So I hope that this video was helpful for you guys. Again, thank you to Sydney Grace and Mel for sending me this in PR. I really appreciate it. I love you all so, so much. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and I will see you guys all in my next video. Love you. Bye.